Good day again, Stephen. Stephen Carey from OffTheGridNoise.com. Again, yeah, I didn't use the yet again. Look, this is um compliance, tiny house compliance update. Call it part two. After watching the first video, I did not make uh, one thing really clear. The the clarity as far as compliance goes with tiny homes and trailers and the Shire needs to be, how's that sun? I think I'm blinding the shit out of everyone. Yeah, 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 I know. A bloody sunset. But yeah, uh, that one point, I just want to make it, this will this will be, I promise you, very short. The point I was trying to make in that last video is you may build your own trailer, which you will need to get VIN, VIN plated to become compliant as a trailer. You may take that trailer, build your own tiny home on it, and you will need to take that VIN plated trailer to the RTA and get it registered as a caravan. And the biggest point is that from what we've found in Victoria, and I did say this, but I'm going to make it clear. In Victoria, the Shire needs to see that you are actually living or your temporary building on wheels is actually mobile, meaning it can be towed out the gate. And that's where the word caravan comes into it, right? You may get your tiny home complied because it's self-certified. And one thing with self-certified, I'm going to make this clear too. Um, what we what we are going to build will have to be self-certified by ourselves, meaning we guarantee the structural integrity of the the build above the trailer. So you can build your own tiny home on your land and go down and get it self-certified as a caravan to make sure that it complies with at least the Shire's requirement for it to be a caravan. But if you turn around and sell it, what you have done is taken the responsibility on. A pretty pretty key point. How's that sun? I know I'm blind the shit out here, but it looks really good. Beautiful afternoon. We've had some shitty weather here, I tell you. How I get, you've got to, you, know, you, you couldn't crawl under a big enough rock to hide from the weather we've had in the last couple of weeks. This is beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Yeah, but anyway, you can certify and get your home-built tiny, tiny house registered as a caravan. And this is not so much to make your tiny house comply. It's to cause the councils or the shires not to get up your nose like a rubber hose. The councils and shires generally, and I know I get people from deep north, north New South Wales and northern Queensland that have shires that just tolerate it. Oh, that's fine for you, alright? Come plop something 15k out of Melbourne and see what happens to you. You know, sit on the outskirts of Sydney and see if the shire cruises in and, and says, yes, you are doing a bloody marvellous job there living in your tin shed or your container or your unregistered trailer that's got a building built on top of it. And then come back to me and see if I'm talking shit to stay within some guidelines that may give you some hope some chance you need that caravan registration so that when you take that self-complied build self-complied meaning you have certified that build when you take that out in the road if you have an accident and the police actually pull up the scraps that are scattered all over the road and it's only registered as a trailer you're going to be in not hot water, but you'll be in in uh, sh on shaky ground, all right? And that's the point of complying to the caravan status and having your build not only VIN plated and certified. And again, this information, and I know I, I, I've made a couple of comments. It's not real clear, this stuff, all right? And that's the problem. If I can't, and I'm a, a YouTuber and a you know, website builder and oh, I mean I use the internet a lot if, if this stuff doesn't come and smack me in the face after looking at 20 you know different little websites about tiny homes I'm assuming this information isn't easy to get at I assume it's out there but it's not easy so I'm trying to make it freaking easier right this will just be called off the grid noise compliance and tiny houses part two so you've got your trailer You've built your trailer, whatever you've got. You've got it VIN plated or it is VIN plated. 
you've built your tiny home I just need to, you to understand that this is not so much to do with towing it down the road as to do with what happens when your authorities come onto your property and spot you habiting within this building if it hasn't got the word caravan on it all right that's it i'm going to leave it at that because i've got better things to, oh, i haven't got better things to do we love helping but i do have other things to do kerry's inside making our quiche for the night just thought i'd do a quick five minute part two again hoping that your day was good hope you're thinking positive i hope you're going ahead with your build your tiny home build we'll actually be doing non-wheeled versions as well which are commonly called transportable pod style we will be doing those as well i will do both but the mobile ones i'm going to make sure as i said in the first video don't cause anybody any grief they will be able to be dragged down the road and oh, i wish the tiny home community would make a bigger deal out of this for the newbies we're assuming the people that promote all the tiny home stuff have the interests of the non-informed punter that's the person who's just looking and i think this sh this stuff should be really up front really up front because you can't just go home weld a few bits of steel together throw a building on it and drag it down the road and put it on your block and think either the rta or the council are going to see you as being quite compliant all right cheers and mate Cheers from Kerry. She's inside cooking, like I said. Cheers from Jess. Jess is still flat out somewhere. The cat, the cat, it's one of the cats not here. It's bloody waiting for its dinner. I can tell you it's dinner time. But anyway, we'll leave it at that. And all I can say is. <laughs> almost cut my hair. We used to have long hair, actually. Yeah, still listening to Neil Young. Anyway, I'm out. We'll catch you on the next one guys like i said hope it was good keep thinking positive do the research do the research do the research cheers